Hi, I'm Arjun Santi, and I made a wireless light switch that you can control with a phone or any device that has Bluetooth. The idea of this project was to make a simple but smart light switch that you can connect to the wiring in the wall and then operate a 120 volt uh, light bulb all using your phone or any just a small device. So when I started, I made a I used a basic schematic design for the light switch and um, the components I used were a simple LED status light, um, a physical switch, so in this case it's a touch switch, um, a Bluetooth module which will connect to your phone or any device that has Bluetooth, and then a relay switch, and the relay switch connects into the wall and it can operate the 120 volt um, light. And obviously the microcontroller, which is handling all the tasks and processing the information. So I made a basic prototype of the system on this uh, breadboard. Um, right now the parts aren't on it because they're on the actual uh, finished product, but we put it on this breadboard and here you can see the LED status light and some of the stuff here. Um, and we plugged it into this, which is an AVR Dragon, and this connects to the computer and I can control, I mean I can um, program the chip from this thing. And so I wrote a basic program in the language AVRC, and what it'll do is it'll accept an input from that touch switch you saw earlier, or the Bluetooth and it'll just turn the relay switch and this LED light on or off. Um, we then plugged this and the relay switch into the wall and tested it and we found that it did work. But the only problem was the USB, this had to be powered from the USB socket on a computer and the power that the, U, that the computer put out was not enough to power all the components including the relay switch. So uh, after this, we designed our own PCB that would, instead of accepting power from the computer, it would accept power from a 9-volt battery. And a 9-volt battery provides a lot more power. So if we go back to the PCB, um, you can see that I added a voltage regulator, and that would allow the 9-volt um, power source to be stepped down to 5-volt, which is accepted by this microcontroller. And so basically we designed the PCB on Eagle, um, which is a CAD software for designing printed circuit boards, and I printed it at um, a local place to print PCBs. And then I soldered all the components onto it. Um, so as you can see, it's all soldered. If you look on the back, everything's soldered on the back. And, um, and we plugged it into the wall and we tested it and it does work. So basically you touch it, that light turns on and up, up over the, there, light switch can turn on and off, on and off. So basically um, the, when it goes, comes to the program, um, I did make some revisions once I put it onto the PCB. So I added something where um, the microcontroller accepts only interrupts as inputs. And what that does is it allows the CPU to stay idle until it receives a message from either the touch switch or the Bluetooth module to change the state of the relay. So basically right now I'm not using anything, I'm not touching anything. So the microcontroller is actually using very, very little power because the CPU is not actively doing anything. The only things that are really using power here are the Bluetooth module and the little lights and um, the magnet inside this relay that'll either hold the um, wires together and um, keep them apart. So um, that was one of the important things that I wanted to add to this because um, all of this is essentially gonna go into the wall behind it and we don't want to have to replace this battery. And another big step that I want to be able to add is um, 
allowing this to just charge directly from the wall and just charge your battery. So that way you would just essentially never have to replace the battery in this. Um, so um, more about the next step. Uh, we designed a small little 3D printed um, case, I guess. So the circuit board would essentially go behind this. This touch switch would fit in this hole. We didn't get the specifics on this yet. We might need to redesign the board to actually get this to work well. But um, this would just go right here. And so the whole plan is to make this look just like a regular light switch so it's not like all complicated so it just fit right over it and you'll just touch through this hole to um, control the light switch so lastly I just want to show how the um, phone this this is just a simple Bluetooth terminal app and basically it just sends um, when you can just send a number and it'll send it to this Bluetooth thing so let's just go ahead and connect to it. So in the final version, we would actually have an actual app um, that would be just like kind of like a light switch or something. Um, so when you send a one, zero, you can hear that sound. That's the relay and the light turned. Uh, light switch to the state on top of the center. So it's pretty simple. Um, the actual version will have an actual app that we make that um, you just press like just a big on button or off button. And then um, in the future, we want to make more devices besides the light switch, so like sensors and other things that can all work together. Um, to maybe like make this light turn on automatically, not have to use your phone and stuff like that. So that's all this is.